to talk about some stats that I recently looked up and involve the uh, top reasons of death in Australia, the top causes of death in Australia. And I've got a little bit of mixed emotions about this. I felt a little bit of sadness. I felt a little bit of disgust. I felt a little bit of confusion, a bit of empathy. You know, it's, uh, it's hard to process the fact that, uh, so the top four causes of death in Australia, overall top causes of death, number one, is heart disease. Number two is Alzheimer's or dementia. Number three is cerebrovascular disease, like stroke and atherosclerosis, that sort of stuff. And number four was lung cancer. Now, the crazy, insane thing about this is four, uh, three of those top four, three of those top four biggest causes of death in Australia are preventable. They are preventable diseases, heart disease, cerebrovascular disease, and lung cancer can all be almost reversed completely if the right steps are taken, if the right habit changes are made. And I, this, is not, this is not new news. This is not recent news. The stats came from a 2013 study. And the, the problem is that it just blows my mind that people in this day and age just can't take the measures, can't take the steps, or are in denial, or refuse to accept that they're dying for no good reason. They're dying for reasons that they can change. They can make the change. You can make the change. And I empathize with this and I'm disgusted by this and I'm, I feel sadness and what is, what's it going to take? What is it going to take for you to make the change? I want you to think right now. What steps you can take right now? Because odds are you're, you're going to die from a preventable disease. The stats are there. Odds are if you don't take some nutritional changes, if you don't take some steps to change your exercise habits, if you don't muster up some sort of effort to stop smoking. You're going to die of one of those preventable, almost completely reversible diseases in most cases. I'm asking you now, why aren't you doing it? What steps can you take today to stop that from happening? Because here's the thing, when, that, when, when you get lung cancer, when you get heart disease, when you suffer from a stroke, it's sometimes it's too late, guys. Sometimes it's too late to take those steps. Make some changes right now. I've done it before. I had high blood pressure. When I was 23 years old, they put me on blood pressure medication. I was a smoker. I, I decided then and there, fuck that. I'm not dying when I'm 45. I'm not going to die when I'm 60. I want to live till I'm 80 years old at least. That's the, that's the challenge I've set myself. So, guys... Take some steps right now. Do something. Make the change. Make a commitment to make a change. Do it for you. Do it for your children. Do it for the other generations that you may not see if you don't make these changes. Do it, guys. Do it for you.